Hola muchachos. All right, so these are going to be expresiones con tener, which you obviously know means to tener expressions. They're also known as to be expressions. So um, to be hungry, I am hungry, right? To be thirsty, I, he is thirsty. Okay, but these are, in Espanol, use them with tener. I know that tener, tener literally means to have. So it's just kind of a little bit more formal. Think like that Shakespearean style um, of how to say something. And I'll show you an example. So in your dictionary, you want to put tener hambre. Tener hambre. Tener hambre. And when I'm talking about that Shakespearean style, what I mean is like to have hunger. So this means to have hunger. So if I say tengo hambre, that means I have hunger. So a very formal type way of speaking. Instead of informal, like I'm hungry. It's I have hunger. And you have tener prisa. Which is like to have to rush. Right? To be in a hurry. Okay? To have to rush. Tener sueño. To have sleepiness. Or to be sleepy. But in that formal way, it's to have sleepiness. Tener frío. To have coldness. You would say in English to be cold, but this is to have cold. Tener frío. Tener sed. Right? To have thirst. Okay, and again, commonly we say to be thirsty, but it's literally to have thirst. Tener calor. Right, to have hotness or to have heat. We would commonly we would say I am hot. In Espanol, it's tengo calor. Tener miedo. Is to have fear. Tener miedo is to have fear, commonly said to be afraid. Tener razón. Literally, it's to have reason, meaning you are right. But literally, it's to have reason. Tener suerte. is literally to have luck. Commonly, we would say to be lucky. But in Espanol, it's tener suerte, to have luck. And you have tener vergüenza, which is to have shame or to be ashamed. Tener vergüenza, to have shame. And the last one is your tener blank Años. Okay, how old are you? So, like, tengo 15 años. I have 15 years. Is literally what that is. All right, so those are your expresiones con tener. Make sure those all get in your diccionario and then go ahead and do the next actividad. Hasta luego.